All right, I'm going to show you how to use the pattern stamp tool in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop Elements 14, but it works about the same in all of Photoshop applications. So I'm going to start by just opening a blank document. And the pattern stamp tool is over here to the left. When I click on it, I have some controls at the bottom. The first one is a clone stamp, and the second is our pattern stamp. To the right of that, we have choice of patterns. So I'm going to start with some granite. And my brush size is fine. And I'm just going to paint. So this is a pattern of granite. You can see you get some duplication in here because it's just one shape that it continually passes on. Let's change that. Let's look at some grass. And if I paint with the grass pattern, I get a grass pattern. Now what's really cool about these patterns is you can create your own. So you can create any pattern you want. And that's what I'm going to show you next. So to create your own pattern, you need to first find something you can use as a pattern. It's very important that the, the light and the dark is somewhat even across the image or it doesn't work very well. Um, and this is going to have a lot of lines in it, but I'm going to show you how this is going to work and then we're going to fix it. So to make this a pattern, you simply get your selection tool. I'm going to use the rectangular marquee and I'm going to select the entire thing and then you go up to edit and you go down to define pattern from selection. So this is my pattern. It's going to be called Rocks 02. Say OK. And now if I go back to my pattern tool, let's bring up a blank. Let's bring up a blank document. So if I go to my pattern stamp and I go to my patterns, here's what I just created. I can select it and now I can start painting my pattern. Now you'll notice that there are, there are lines in here. There are lines in here where the edge of the pattern stops and it starts again. I'm going to show you how to fix those. So we're going to go back to our rocks some images are easier to fix than others, just depends on the light and the dark and what's in them. This one's a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to deselect this. And then we're going to use what's called an offset filter. You go to filter and you go to other and you go down to offset. Then you'll need to set it so your offset somewhere in the middle. It doesn't have to be in the middle, but it's easiest if it's close to the middle. And you'll notice I have a horizontal offset and I have a vertical offset. What this does is it takes the outside edges and it pushes them to the middle. So that if I can clean up these lines, then when I draw my pattern, I won't have them in my pattern. It's very critical when you do this, you do not go past on these far outside edges. If you modify the outside edges, then when those edges come together, they will not be aligned. And you'll have, you'll see a repeating pattern. So this is going to take some work and I'm going to use the clone stamp tool to do it. And I'm going to get just a very little clone stamp, but with some softness. and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to start right here so I do not want to disturb this far edge as little as possible because that edge is aligned with the opposite edge but these other rocks are not so I'm going to go to even smaller clone stamp and just decide what I want to do here. So there's an end right here. So I'm going to set my target.
set my target here and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make that end oh what do I got going on there let's undo that I know what's wrong with my brush I want aligned I do not want dissolve I want normal I don't think I want any opacity on it all right let's try this again so I'm going to set my target down here I'm going to try to duplicate the end of that rock over here that's not bad I'm going to go smaller on my brush way smaller and I'm going to duplicate some of this white just across that line just a little bit just so that's gone so there's no line there okay and onward I go so this is this white in here probably needs to go away I'll just make dark stuff in there so I'll go here I need this to continue. And then I want this rock to continue as if it's going underneath this other one. It's not white. No line there. Let me put Try that again. Just to there. Okay, and I'm going to make this brown one, this gray, so it looks like it's the same rock. So just color that guy gray. Kind of end it off right there. It almost looks like they're joined right there. You could put a black line in there if you wanted. Okay, so this one, I'm going to make the tip of this rock go over on top of that rock. And I can get a tip from this right down here. Make it in there. There, so it looks like it's overlapping, not that there's a line there. And we're going to go in here with some gray. I'm going to cover that. I'm going to need a tip up here, so let's see, I'll maybe take this tip away over here. And kind of extend it over here. There. And then I want to take this down a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just trying to take these lines out so when it pushes it together, it'll match somewhat. And it's going to take some work to do this. I'm at the middle now. If I view and fit on screen, you can see there's not so much a line over here. I think I would probably touch that up a little bit depending on how accurate I wanted this. Um, but I'm going to work on it and then I'll show you what it does and we'll come back. Okay, I've cleaned this up a little bit, so can't see lines real strong. So I'm going to so I'm going to go ahead and make my pattern. I'm going to start by selecting all of this. And then go up to edit. Go to define pattern from selection. And I'm going to call it the same thing. I'm going to replace the other one because I didn't like the lines in that one. Say OK. Now if I get a new document. And get my pattern stamp tool. And get my rocks. Oh, it didn't replace it. It made it right next to the other one. And now if I start painting, you will see some replication or duplicate. Obviously, you know, that big rock in the middle. So 
So you can see there's a repeating pattern here, especially with this rock right here, and it repeats and repeats, but no lines. If I zoom in, no lines. It's a nice little pattern.